So this was recorded over at my Twitch, link in the description. And as such, the language is foul and the humor is adult. If your discretion is advised. Shout out to me, like, not streaming forever. Like, months and months and months, and now I'm just streaming every single day, sometimes twice a day. The worst part is, it's not even like, oh, hey, I'm streaming for, like, an hour, like, four times a day or whatever. I'm streaming, like, twice a day. One time for, like, two hours and one time for, like, six. Sandwich is gone. What should I make? What I want to make... I cannot. Because I don't have red grass. Hmm. Maybe the fire region will have that. Oh. Right. Walking skill up. You're awake! Charlotte. Have you recovered enough to be walking around? Yes. Thanks to you. That's... I really put you through some trouble, didn't I? Not at all. This is awkward. Excuse me. About our competition. Yes. Right, I say it was a draw, don't you agree? Mm. She looks pissed. Wait, what does draw even mean in this case? I didn't exactly win, so what if she still won't accept me as a ranger? You're a kind soul. Huh? Huh. Any way you look at it, the one who passed out is the loser. And yet you're still considerate enough to call it a draw. But if you hadn't been there, Scarlet, I couldn't have captured him. There's no doubt about it. I lost. Wow, you laughed. No. I most certainly did not. Um, you most certainly did. No. I won't repeat myself. Yes. Not? <clears throat> you have my thanks. Same here. You're alive! Good morning. Today's the fine day to be out on patrol, don't you agree? In case you were unaware, tomorrow's Captain Luffy's birthday. I plan to present her with her favorite snack, flan. Crap. <laughs> I take great pains to ensure that it's perfectly circular top exactly the right ratio of caramel. That meticulous approach to preparing presents doesn't surprise me one bit, Scarlet. Cool. Well, today is a festival, I believe. It's fishing festival. Good morning. Today is a nice day. I wonder how many fish... Okay, sure. Not quite the same, but it, it's good enough. So... I want to see... It's going to be 608. Huh. That would be helpful when I'm doing the turnip stuff. Raise weapon skills to 50. <laughs> okay, I think I can do that. This silo's reputation has been one on the rise of the late, all thanks to your hard work. However, we cannot let ourselves become complacent. As the sworn protectors of Rigbarth, we must always strive to become better versions of ourselves. So if you haven't raised at least one weapon skill to 15, then that could lead the trouble down the line. If you understand what it takes to be a Seed Ranger, then you must hone your skills as your wood sharpen a sword. Yeah, uh, 19. Not as high as I thought it was, but also I haven't been doing a lot of grinding with it. You showed me just what you're capable of. I see no reason not to give you this now. After assigning the rune ability to a specific button, you can press that button repeatedly to perform additional attacks. While it's a powerful technique, it also drains a decent amount of RP whenever you use it. Leadership. Cool. Yes. Use your forge to upgrade a weapon. Let's do it. The more you use a weapon, the more you grow attached to it, and the harder it becomes to let it go. Luckily, you can always upgrade your weapons. If you have a forge and the material required to upgrade it, then why don't you try upgrading your favorite weapon? Let's do it. I don't know why it's him, but let's do it. Okay. 
Upgrade a weapon. We are going to upgrade the steel edge. Yeah. And we are going to apply. Definitely can't do that. I figured, but I want to be sure. Yeah. Gotta love the dogs going bork, bork, bork. Every stream. All the streams. You can either buy brand new weapons or keep upgrading your current ones. But remember that you can only upgrade something a limited number of times. Please check the nearby chest for some copper. <laughs> Increase when your magic skills to 15. I think I might have done... Oh, another water laser. Thanks. A third one. Hey Ares, can you use magic? Believe it or not, I'm actually pretty good at magic myself. Your skill level determines the spell's power and the amount of RP it consumes. So you should keep raising your skill level by using as much magic as possible. Using fire magic will raise your fire skill, while using earth magic will ra raise your earth skill. Simple, right? So try raising one of your magic skills to at least level 15. I predict that you'll have no trouble pulling this off, Amrita. Nice job, Ares, just as I predicted. Here's a word for all that hard work. Give me just a minute. No barking. No. After you sign the spell to a button, hold it down to keep firing it. You can even change the direction as you're firing it. Using crafter table to upgrade your armor. Well, if I screw up again, I can't seem to handle anything delicate. Honestly, I'd say all the stuff in the end was way too fragile, you know? I'm gonna end up breaking every last thing in the end while I'm cleaning it at this rate. Which is where you come in. I want you to tell me how to make stuff sturdier. You've got a crafting table, right? Think you could show me by upgrading some armor? I mean... Sure. I'm not wearing great armor or anything, so I'm not in the correct spot either. Upgrade armor. Uh, right. I don't know if it has to be armor or not. I'm sure it could be something else, but I'll just do the armor itself. Okay, something that gives good stats. This is level 9. It's level 8. Yeah, I figured that was too high level. Alright, uh... That would be doable, actually. I don't want to, though. I want to keep that. Uh... Way too high. Uh... Honestly, let's just do a bronze. Done. Hi, right. you one, Ares. Here's a little something to say thank you. Please check the nearby chest for some soap. For... Right. Oh? 
Well, I can make an upgraded tool. Uh, use new chance to make your crops grow faster. Green fire times one. Hi, Ares. Have you used your nutrients before? If you sprinkle some in your soil, crops will grow better. Try using this sometime if you'd like. You receive some Formula A. Uh, I will grow this one better. There. Seven on Oh, wow. That's really good. Nice shop, berries. I bet your crops feel so happy now. You can give your crops all sorts of different nutrients, so you should experiment with more of them sometime. If you ever want to check on the nutrients that affect your crops, then you should buy a magnifying glass in the general store. Ship a whole bunch of stuff and increase your total shipping rate to 10%. Next directive is bag expansion, huh? Hey, Harry's, have you been keeping an eye on your shipping rate? You'll complete more of your shipping list as you ship a greater variety of items. Think of it as measuring how much effort you've put into your work. I know that you work really hard already, Harry, so I bet you've, incre you've been increasing your shipping rate to 10% would be super easy for you. If you haven't raised it that high yet, then you should definitely try. 9%. Okay. It definitely wouldn't be hard. I just have to start going through and shipping. Uh, not shipped one of those. I'd like to keep this, to be honest. <laughs> Ship that, ship that. Honestly, I'm probably going to go above 10% just from those items, but I'll check out my other stuff, you know, see what I can do. Try to guarantee it. I've not shipped a pumpkin. How have I not shipped a pumpkin? Which reminds me, if I get the pot, I could start boiling pumpkins. I also need to figure out what I should use potatoes for, for power grinding. French fries, maybe? But that would require oil. I'll figure it out. Pink cat? Yeah. Grape as well. The Disastrous Dish, despite me really wanting to use that against an enemy. Turbo Sashimi. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm shipping one of those, so make sure. Dried Sardines, I only have that one, so I'll ship that. Formula B. Yeah, I'm definitely about to get above 10. Okay. Shipping time. That's getting shipped. Yeah, definitely didn't ship one of those. Uh, I did ship one of those, though. And I shipped one of those already. Correct order of operations, right?
There we go. That's more than enough. Okay, uh, boom. So this is level three currently. And now, level four turnip seeds. This is a level three as well. Two, so let's get that up to level three now. Hmm. I look at how a Greenifier works in this game because in previous games it was like, oh hey. This will make it so that you have X, Y, Z happen, but in this one it's different. So these are level two. Also that definitely went over. Oh, three turnip seeds. Nice. Now that I think about it, let's teleport back home real quick. I should probably make a hammer, right? Keep getting more and more resources earlier on by using the silver to make a silver hammer. Get more bronze and a bunch of the gems and whatnot. It makes sense to make a hammer. Make a farm tool. So if I wanted to make a hammer, I need to do a stone, a, a mineral, and a stick. So... Twenty-one hundred. Hmm. I might not be high enough level. Then what can I use to power level? Sturdy hose. You a sturdy ho ho. You a sturdy ho. It is 9 a.m. and I'm almost half an hour into this stream. This this is an issue. <laughs> I never expect anything less from you, Ares. Keep working hard, raise it even higher. You can make a larger bag with the directive. Prepare for a typhoon. Sprinkle wettable powder and crops to prepare for the typhoon. Hmm, I think a typhoon's gonna hit us very soon. Sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden, spring, haha, <laughs> but I like to sprinkle some wettable powder on your fields. That should prevent your crops from blowing away. You received some wettable power. Wettable powder. Okay, uh. That's the most important one there. Also... Level 2, huh? Precisely what I was hoping for. There we go. Well, I got my energy back. So let's turn in this quest now. 
Good work. Now you feel should weather a typhoon or blizzard just fine. I actually have a little bit of this left over, so you should take it. Upgrade a staff. Use your forge to upgrade your staff. You probably already know that you need a staff to use magic, but did you know that you can upgrade staves too? Upgrading a staff will give it all sorts of effects that you won't find on other weapons. Try it out sometime. I know where this is going. Okay, so... Let's make a weapon. Make a staff. Because I probably sold mine, maybe. Still not doing that. Instead... That. Let's see, what raises magic attack? Does nothing... Does nothing raise my magic attack? Is that why... Yeah, magic do- oh, no, that does. We're gonna see how this turns out. An Aquamarine Rod. So, it's supposed to have magic attack plus 11, dizzy plus 15. Forging level up. Instead, it has 13, 4 magic defense, and dizzy plus 15. Okay, so I gained two more magic attack and four magic defense. Good for testing. Upgrade. Algor Marine. There it is. The Nine Tailed Fox Bell. Hmm, right. I forgot that it was level 33. That's not happening. Never mind. If we did the Nine-Toed Fox spell, we might actually gain Fox Fire or something as the ability. That's what I was going for, at least, but, you know, it doesn't always turn out. Staves gain another charge attack level every time you upgrade them. And if you upgrade them with monster materials, you'll change their charge attack as well, so why don't you try it out? Okay. Like I was doing. Make a farm tool. Now... If I wanted to use silver, I'm assuming it's still around 2,000. 1,800 now. Closer. You a sturdy ho ho, you a sturdy ho. So from 1860 down to 1740. Gotta keep upgrading, though, which means I need a lot of bronze. <sighs> oh, that's not happening for a long time. But I can do this, because I've already done this. Do you know how to tame monsters? You just have to give them food you've cooked or items as presents. If they like what you're offering, then they'll have a new friend in no time. Just watch your level. You'll have a much harder time to befriend a monster that's stronger than you. Also, monsters won't join you if your barns are full, so keep an eye on them. That would have been helpful advice. Oh, I have to actually befriend one. Okay. Unfortunate. Oh, wow. Multiple quests or events or whatnot are happening. Martin! Is there... Oh. 
there's an item there, again. Sweet powder. Every time I leave, will it respawn? Is that what's happening? No, it's not there, so I don't know what that was about. So these are selling for 120 a piece. Not too great, but you know, it's fine. Martin's first love event. What? You've never received any secondhand clothes from Martin? No. Nope. He always buys or makes new outfits for me. Mm -hmm. Well, you're lucky. When I was little, everything I had was a hand-me-down. Even though we're both younger siblings, we've had really different experiences growing up. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. We were just discussing our older siblings are complete opposites. So, Martin is your older brother? Wild. Yeah, for one thing, Martin's seriously a hard worker, while Elf just is always slacking off. When well, Martin's never made you run on run an errand for him, not even once. He says he doesn't want to make me go alone because he's worried about me, my safety. So he always takes care of things himself. Her siblings do have one thing in common, though. Uh, what might that be? Neither of them come home very often. Yeah, well, yeah you're right about that. But in Martin's case, it's because he's really busy with work. My sister just can't be bothered to walk that far. Ah, uh, same result, but the reasons couldn't be more different. Well, you have a point there. And worrying about our siblings when they don't have to, when they don't come home, is another thing we have in common. Yeah, yeah for sure. Huh. Wild. Huh. All the events disappeared. Wild. Glorious greetings! The weather today is beautiful! I look forward to acquainting myself with the whole with a whole school's worth of fish during today's contest. So I don't know the rules for the contest. Should I be going right now? Should check it out at least, right? Tempting to stop for that, but let's see what the rules are. The warm sun shines upon the land, much like a proud mother beaming down at her children. Its heat embraces your body and soul, leaving you fe feeling completely refreshed. May we both catch many, many fish today at the fish variety contest. Such fine weather, it feels good. To know if I win today, but I'll still do my best. How pleasant the weather is today. I can't help but notice it. I plan on fishing far and wide in order to win today's variety fish variety contest. Man, what a nice day. Weather like this makes you want to set off on an adventure. You better take part in the fish variety contest, eh? Or else I'll be very annoyed. Hi, today's the perfect day for hanging out laundry to dry. The fish variety contest isn't my favorite event, but I'll still give it a try. Find my way. I take sunny weather over what, ever rain one, blah, whatever. The town's jumping today. Hardly surprising since the fish variety contest should start soon. All right, time to find some more mysteries. 
If you're gonna compete in the fish variety contest, then I already know what today will be full of surprises. Nice days like this make it hard to scoop, stay cooped up in the smithy today. There's just too many, too many lines of dialogue. Okay. Okay. Hello, lovely day today, isn't it? The weather's perfect. The perfect weather for making house calls. Today's the fish variety contest. If you feel like joining, I'm accepting entrance from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. We'll start at the festival grounds, so don't be late. I know it's a bit early, but would you like to go over the rules? Yes, yes I would. The rules for the fish variety contest are as follows. The goal is to catch as many different types of fish as you can. Everyone will complete, compete to catch the widest variety possible for, before the contest ends. We'll announce the results between 5 and 6 p.m. If you're late, you're disqualified, so make sure you show up on time. And that's all there is to it. Who's the favorite to win? Her passion for competition comes second to none. I'm proud of her for it. It's my very own daughter, Lucy. I can see that. While I'm here, I might as well enter. Sign me up. There, registration complete. I'm going to have so much fun outside today. I brought my special fishing rod today, so I can't lose. Hey there. Gotta keep your mind sharp. When you stop thinking, that's what all hell breaks loose. How are things on your end? I've been making progress little by little. I haven't even started yet. That's why I'm here. Come on, you're absolutely within the range of that. How dare you? Okay, mackerel. That's fish number zero. Why would it start with zero? Programming. I caught this can. Does not count as a fish. Ha! Squid. That's fish number one. New record with the smallest squid. There we go. Skipjack, that's fish number two. And I caught two at once. Mackerel. Again. I'm about done here, I think. Fish number three. Oh. This will be my last one.
If I can even... No? Okay. Why does that count as the water? Alright, uh... Next place to fish should be up near Seed Headquarters. River time! Way too far. Nice. Rainbow trout. That's fish number four. And I caught two at once. That's my first rainbow trout, I think. Maybe my second. Chub, fish number five. I have no idea what's a good amount to win this. Cherry salmon, that's fish number six. A can again. I'm being yelled for. Give me just a minute, guys. Guess who got a burrito? It's me. <laughs> Okay, uh... I'm gonna make an assumption here and say there isn't a lot left here that I can get. There is a place to fish here, so I might as well give it a shot. Yeah, I'll just run through. It's fine. Listen. Tomosa is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Is there a reason why you won't fight? Fish number seven. Small sardine. Shrimp. That's new, actually. No. Come on, Gabe. What? A... There we go. Turbo, that's fish number nine. New record for the biggest. Don't turn away from me. Jerk. Easy 
Another squid. Nice to know that you can get squid here. Oh, salmon, number 10. The biggest salmon. My brain said, now, and I'm like, that wasn't the fourth one. Okay. Grab these to make medicine with later. Don't turn away from me. They're being mean. Corella. The bright side, this doesn't knock me out of my fishing. That's number 11. I'm attempting to fish here. And it doesn't count as fishing if I hit you first, apparently. Apparently they can stun me. Oh, it's when they deal damage. Got it. Another shrimp. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna take a drink. Oh, I got a skill seal. There we go, skipjack. Another skip track.
Another Grilla. Another mackerel. Another turbo. Robbie Snapper, fish number 12. New record for the biggest. Um, right, because I have something in my hand. I can't. I don't care about the skip chat currently. Set that down. Let's head back and uh, heal up and cook. Time to cook with a knife. Turbo sashimi. Shrimp sashimi. I've not done squid sashimi, so heck yeah. Okay. Now, what is it gonna take to cook a uh, skipjack over two thousand? I could do that. So let's eat. Rainbow trout sashimi. Okay, what's the next one? Um Yeah, 10,000. I was pretty sure that was a super high level one. Have I not... Have I done cherry salmon? The answer is no. Let's fix that. I, I, I should know that I haven't done cherry salmon. I've never caught one before today. Okay, um... Yeah, I have done that. Eat, eating away. I don't know what's left to eat, so I'll eat it all anyway. There we go. Up to 682. I'm actually about to level 41. Good to know. I have no idea if I'm even doing good at this point. Why 
Why is it called the Pond of Hope, I wonder? Sardine. Gorilla, gorilla, however you say it. Yeah, this is so hard to see any kind of shadows. Should head there after this one. Needlefish, fish thirteen, nice. Uh, festival grounds, right there. The weather's really nice today, so my mommy's in a good mood. Just wait until you see how many fish I've caught. Ah, oh, what nice weather we have today. It makes me want to take Hina for a walk. Have you had an agreeable fishing experience thus far? I'm working hard to catch as many pr <clears throat> fish as possible. Ho oh, ho, oh, it's really nice though. Do you think it'd be okay if I closed up for the day? Uh, do I really have to pull the hook out of every fish I catch? Why can't they just unhook themselves and save me the trouble? Anyone else I haven't spoken to? I haven't spoke to you. You know, I had a whole bunch of jokes ready for the contest like this. Alas, they weren't very... so... They weren't very sophisticated. That was really bad. Come on. Nice job reeling them in. You caught a whole menagerie of fish today. Turn your haul into something tasty tonight and eat your fill. The results are in, so let me announce the winners. In third place, we have Riker with a score of seven. How did Riker get any place in this? So second place, see, I can do anything if I put my mind to it. You were napping, shut up. In second place, we have Randolph with a score. Okay, so I win, and once again, for some reason, rather than making Lucy second place, they just eliminate her. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner of the fish riding contest is... Aries with a whopping score of 13 fish. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> I did it! I'm number one! Congratulations on a well -deserved victory. I never tire of watching you triumph. Just as I Congrats. Everyone did their very best, and that's all I could ever ask for. Don't forget to pick up your prizes before you head back home. I'm going to look something up real quick. Something just occurred to me. So it's Melody. No, okay. I thought she looked familiar. She played Tiki. 
but I didn't really, like, I don't know that voice too well. Uh... She played Celica in Xenoblade Chronicles X. No, I, uh, I don't. Oh, she's a character in Deadly Premonition too. But no, I'm I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, oh, she's Reen Tosaka from uh, Fate Stay Night. Okay, that's where I've heard her voice. That's Hina's voice actress. We figured something out. That concludes today's festivities. Well done, everyone. Okay. With a staff. Oh, this is way better than what I just made today. Unfortunate. Eating time! I learned how to make flounder sashimi. I need a knife. That's not enough. This is enough. Char sashimi. Grilled sand flounder. Salted chub. Grilled shrimp. Salted pond smoke. Fried rice. Grilled flounder. French rice. There we go. In spring, the wind gets all whooshy and swooshy at night. Pretty weird, huh? Absolutely brilliant! The sheer size of that hall nearly made my eyebrows fly straight off my face. Okay. Sad thing is she could do that. What a stunning display of talent. Congratulations on your victory. Time to tackle another day. <laughs> Hey, get back here. That was amazing. Congrats on the win. Let me know if you have any problems. You're a really ball of sunshine today. Okay, I'm already up to three with a bunch of people, but then other people are down at one. Actually, the only people at one currently appear to be the people who just arrived in town. Everyone else... Well, Margaret doesn't count. <laughs> Margaret's DLC character. She's very rarely anywhere I'm hanging out. <laughs> Evening, you're heading out at the sour? What, got some kind of errand? Good evening. Good. Love. Congratulations. 
Congratulations on your stunning victory. I mean, 13 fish is definitely enough to feed a family. Unless you have a really hungry, really big family. I don't know that I've spoken to Riker post, like, nighttime. So, Margaret's down at one. Okay. Mar uh, Margaret, Scarlet, and Beatrice are at one. Reinhardt, Doug, Misasagi, Terry, Randolph, Derek, Julian, Elsh, Heinz are at two. And everyone else is at three. Nice. It's almost 7 p.m. Okay, so... I'm assuming potatoes are gonna take, uh, or french fries are gonna take oil. Which are which is gonna be the thing that stops me from making them. Because it makes them not profitable at that point. Yeah, oil. Well they sell for six hundred. And potatoes only sell for nine okay, that that, that is still profitable. Okay, I'll Tomorrow I'll buy up a huge amount of oil then and we'll start making french fries. So all of these are going to take sour drops. Flounder sashimi. I have not shipped that so let's do that. 690, I need a little bit more. Okay. Vital gummy. A specially made medicine. Increases maximum vitality for the long haul. I could ship it. I could eat it. I don't care that much about my vitality currently. I think I'm going to ship it. Fruit sandwich. That's really good. But once again, going to be shipped. Flounder sashimi done. Cooking level 24, huh? Almost level 25, though. Here. Let's do that. Does this get me 1%? No, only a part of a percent. But it lets me eat it, so...
So close. There we go. Level 25 cooking. And now I can know how far away am I. Let's go with the skipjack. Still 1850. Uh... Six thousand if Yeah, I'm still far away from that kind of stuff, but that's fine. There we go. Figure that was about to happen. There we go. Shipping time. Ba da ba ba da ba. Rainbow Trout, Cherry Salmon, Squid, Flounder, The Vital Gummy, The Fruit Sandwich, to kill the lava caves. Was there an item back there? there. Oh. You wink.
So much damage. Okay. Okay. Level up. Time and time again. Yes, I did hear that drop back there, but I'm also trying to use up my time wisely here. Trying to find the mining spots because I don't remember it too well. Here we are. I actually haven't been over here, apparently. Though it just seems to be another way around. And I'm locked in. There we go. Onigiri. Right. They keep on running, running, running away from everything. bronze that way. Is there any more bronze? 
My guess is it would be down here. I believe there's some at the very entrance, so... If I run back this way, I'm sure I'll run into some. How about up here? Yes! <gasps> mine, 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 mine! That's a monster box. Come on. Lame! Keep on moving, moving. I like to move it, move it. You're out of your vector. There we go. Could have got luckier there. For instance, that could be a sixer, just like that. Okay, uh... Home we go. There we go. Make some tools. Seventeen of them, to be precise. How far away am I from being allowed to use that silver? Not super far away. Less than twice my max RP. Side. Okay, ship the mayonnaise. And while I'm thinking about it, yeah. 
Dang it, I was hoping. Oh well. Nice. Okay. What do I have to do to get this to be towards the back end of this? Maybe if I do so price? No. Make another farm tool. Up to 22. So now, if I wanted to make it... Uh... Very close. I am so close. Ah, so freaking close. How about make a weapon? Is there any kind of weapon I can make? I know there isn't. I, I know there isn't. It's just... I'm hopeful. I can find somebody. Well, what we So I think that's all the grinding I can do with that right now. I'm very close to being able to do everything though. Yawn, how dare you.
Okay, I have a max RP of 742 now. Not bad at all. Looking good. Yep, and I guess I'm done for the day.